What's up everybody? This is Andy from the After Dispensary and the After Dispensary.com. Uh, I know uh, Nature's Remedy and it still exists and that is my storefront. We'll get there. I what can I tell you? Anyway, hey, in, in this episode, this show, we're going to talk about something that I don't think many people know about and and this is what you're starting to see at the dispensaries. You're seeing these live terpene syringes live terpene syringe not to be confused with this style syringe which is a big difference that's distillate and terpenes this is only terpenes and uh you know why um uh, i actually got mine the first one i got was was by accident which really kind of sucked because um, I take mine orally. I just really just, I put it on a piece of peanut butter or I put it under my tongue. I don't really mind the flavor. I'm more after the effects and the terpenes of it. Um, however, that being said, I did get it by mistake and wow, was I surprised. It was, it was almost terrible. And then when I looked at it, it's almost reversed. The THC is extremely low. The activated THC is extremely low. And the uh, unactivated, which THCA is extremely high, which means well, you need to dab it, but it's a sauce. Uh, so if you start figuring it out, it's almost like the sauce in diamonds and sauce. That would be the sauce. Uh, so, you know, what do you do with it? Well, enter uh, sand. What the hell do you do with sand? This is um, serious happiness, and this is like 99% uh, THC. Uh, you should be able to see that serious happiness and it's got a lot of THC in there, but it's sand. And I'll be, I'm, I'm not a fan of it. Again, I did get sand when it came out because the THC content was really high, and I thought that that was super cool. Uh, but I, I, I didn't know what to do with it. I would sp sprinkle it in, in a joint, a CBD joint, a Delta 8 joint, it didn't matter. I would um, sprinkle it on top of a bowl. I would put it in my dab rig. I would put it in my email and I was never ever satisfied with it at all. Uh, so uh, over here I gotta give hats off to, to Bob. Uh, he's our mad scientist and he enjoys playing with this stuff and he figured out, uh, you know, and did some research and, and mixed this and I wanted to share that with everybody. Uh, so we're just going to, you know, open this up. This is a, a brand new piece or a pack of sand, piece of pack, a pack of piece of sand. Anyway, I did like it, and so what we're going to do here is we're going to take our terpene syringe, and I do have uh, one. These are all opened. Uh, this is sour blueberry. This particular one is sour blueberry. Uh, the one I'm going to, to put in is going to be uh, chem de la chem, and ultimately I will be putting in sour blueberry. Uh, these terpene syringes, this is exactly what they look like. I'll pull it out for you. Just a basic syringe, you can see that, uh, but it's extremely thin, as you can see. Unlike anything else, uh, the distillates are extremely thick. Now, one important thing, a visual, uh, for example, if you go to your dispensary and you think you ordered the right thing, there is a distinct difference um, in these particular ones. Uh, it's uh, different colors of the box. And just make sure if you're not looking for what I'm showing you, the terpene, uh, you make sure it says distillate. Anyway, uh, so what we found was I, I personally, like I said, I don't like using the sand. However, when you open your sand, which that's just sand, I don't want to tip it too much, but you can see that's sand. I guess, kind of, sort of. And if you can't, well, trust me, it's sand. Anyway, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take this and we're going to pour this syringe into it and mix it. And now what we have is a fully controlled sand, which is going to be more of kind of on the consistency of like a crystallized butter. Uh, and I'll show that consistency, but it's a workable consistency. And here's what's interesting. So now 
I'm loading up a tremendous amount of terpenes. And when I say a tremendous amount of terpenes, it's a lot of terpenes in there. Myrcene alone is over 7%. Um, same thing with the uh, sour blueberry. The terpene list is, uh, you know, very well. This one is off the charts in uh, limonene, coming in at over uh, 7%. That's the sour blueberry. Uh, and anyway, those are uh, the reasons why I'm using these terpenes, and I'm finding a use for them, and I hope you find a use for them. They're in the... Um, dispensaries right now and they're not being sold a lot from what I understand. I go to uh, multiple dispensaries. I do use uh, shout out to Restore uh, in Elkins Park. You guys are awesome and uh, that's where I got this. Uh, so anyway without further ado we are just going to take the top off and uh, we're just going to simply squirt it right on in. I mean there's no holding back on that. Make sure you get everything out we will save that for later. And uh, at that point, I'm just going to take one of my dab tools. Uh, I have a Yo Dabber Dabber tool. I think they're awesome. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to mix this up. That's all I'm doing is just mixing it. I'm, I understand you can't see me mixing it. And I, I guess in a way I could show you the one, what it's starting to look like inside of there. Oh, well, that's going to focus for you, but I will show you when it's all done. Anyway, it's almost, it's just turning into a batter as if you did anything like wet sand. Uh, but the difference is, is that this is going to allow me to dab this and I fully controlled. So for example, it tends like when this THC sand, it doesn't tend to have a lot of uh, terpenes in it. The terpene list is very low and the THC is, as you saw, is extremely high. Anyway, uh, you know, if you, you can see, this is becoming pretty cool. That's the sand, and that is incredibly awesome. I'm loving it. I, mean, I cannot wait to do this dab, uh, but we're going to let it cure. We're going to let it uh, sit there. I'm going to come back and, and show you guys about that. Uh, so I mix it up really good. I want to make sure, just as if we were mixing a cake or anything else that you would be doing, uh, we want to get it fully mixed up. And we spent a lot of money on this. This is, this is not cheap. Uh, and so you know this was a half gram of sand and a half gram of the um, terpene syringe. Uh, if it all goes well, I will definitely be looking for the uh, grams of everything. Uh, but an equal mixture so far is a great place to begin. Um, I'm done with uh, mixing this up. I'm going to put my tool aside and, uh, and you should be able to see the end result of that inside there that was sand and it is no longer sand it is goo almost kind of like um, glue or paste or something so we are approximately 24 hours after this and uh, I wanted to show you the consistency if you can see that pretty good uh, anyway you can see how nice it breaks apart Fully controllable. There you go. I mean, it just drops right off. Nice and easy. Easy to dab with. I would definitely recommend this, and I suggest you try it. But uh, anyway, so now you know you take your live terpene syringe, which is loaded with terpenes. Not only that, but it still has, this one has 48% uh, THCA, while it only has 5% uh, THC activated THC. Uh, so anyway, 48 plus 5, I mean, what's that, 53 or 52, I don't, I'm not doing my math here. Anyway, you take that, you add this to this 99% uh, uh, THC sand, THCA sand, and now you have uh, some serious medicine, not only because the THC is high, which is going to give you a big kick, but now you have loaded it up with immense amount of terpenes in here. And that's a really big deal. And again, I'm a big uh, mercine chaser. So it having uh, mercine, uh, you know, is a really big deal. Um, and the limonene is great. Uh, the linalool or limonene, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, one thing to keep in mind is, for example, this was a... Uh, 
half gram as uh, as this was a, a half gram as well. Uh, so when I take this, and for example, it says eight percent uh, eliminine. Um, when I put this in here, that decreases in half, right? Even though it's still uh, by volume, it's still eight percent. Um, it's not necessarily it's eight percent inside here. When I've mixed it and I've now dispersed it, or if you want to call it diluting it, which we weren't, um, it's now doubled in size, so it's now half that. Um, I don't know if that makes a difference because the terpenes are so high in that anyway, uh, but it is extremely important, and I hope that you guys found some interest in this video. If you have, please like and subscribe down below. Pass this along. We want to get this information out there. These are very valuable because terpenes are going to help you feel good. They, uh, they have different reactions, and they do different things for you. Look them up, check it out, look on Google, type in terpene wheel. Anyway, come back here for all things cannabis. You will learn here anything CBD, CBG, Delta 8, Delta 9, Delta 10. If it's related, if it's cannabis related, it's here. If there's something you wanna learn about, please put it in the comments below. If you have something rude to say, be nice as you can. Uh, anyway, this is Andy from the After Dispensary. I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace, I'm out.